After 11 years of operation, the American-Canadian tour is being dissolved. ACT President Tom Curley delivered the bad news. At the conclusion of Saturday's championship banquet in Burlington, Mike Perlow has reaction. There are a lot of dedicated people out there, some people that have raced with them for an awful long time, uh, that perhaps should have had a hint or maybe a personal call or something uh, a little more personal personal than, than just dropping a bombshell like that. And then he scooted, boy, he was out, he was gone. For drivers like Shelburne's Dennis Demers, the shock that his ACT racing days are over is still settling in. The same can be said for Braintree's Kip Stockwell. His fifth year on the ACT circuit was to be a major step in his long-term plans of big-time racing. Ran a lot of supply and fully services who really put a lot of money in for 1996. And we got all this new equipment that's sitting behind me, and, and for my race team, it was a real big shock. In addition, many drivers are still owed money from last year's competition. In my case, um, the check should have been around $24,000, $25,000. So <laughs> it's, it's a fair amount of money. Uh, Brad Layton's owner told me it was 40000 that he was expecting. Tom indicated that, uh, that he would make good on it in two installments. As for Tom Curley or any other members of the ACT, they were in a meeting for most of the day and not willing to come on camera to talk about the situation. Their only thoughts came through this one-page press release. Curley spoke of the ups and downs of ACT life. He also cited a recent breakdown in financial dealings with Maine's Oxford Plains Speedway and difficulty competing for sponsors as some of the reasons for his decision. He slipped again. Curley Down did speak with longtime friend Ken Squire earlier today. Squire and Curley are co-investors in Thunder Road. The tour has had its problems and it's been amazing that Tom has been able to keep this thing rolling over these years. What were the differential in Canadian money, uh, the upheaval in Quebec, that's, that's really had a real effect upon the tour. Right now I've got a team, I've got a race team um, with a race car and virtually no place to run it at the level that we want to run it. In the end, most say they knew this day was coming, just not so soon. Mike Perlow, Channel 3 Sports. Turning our attention to basketball, how do Period. Although area drivers have no reason to be pleased with the closing of the American-Canadian Tour or the manner in which the message was delivered, one driver explains that the popularity of auto car racing in the Northeast means there is still some reason for optimism. I know NASCAR has, has uh, been approached by some people in the Northeast to start an all-pro series up here, which, are, which they already have in the West and South. And, uh, now it's... It would, make sense that they would do something like that. They certainly would have a lot of followers. The local sports scoreboard St. Michael's men's basketball